What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? When you give me that smile, I think my heart's turning up the pace. I don't care about what we do if I get to be with you. What you wanna do now? What's to be afraid of when we're young, stupid, and in love? Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. So I haven't vlogged for the past couple days. Um, I just, I just had a hard time letting go of Otis and yeah. So anyway, it's you know I just if I don't talk about it, I'm okay. So I don't want to talk about it. Um. So anyway, I. I'm going to work on some orders. Right now it is 3.24 in the afternoon. It was grocery shopping day. So I need to get some work done. Um, I'm going to, I bought stuff last week for lasagna, except for the cheese. I forgot to get the cheese. So we're gonna have that tonight since it was grocery shopping day. And this is here. That's mama's. I want to be a doctor. No, it's not a doctor. Um, it's for mommy. It's for mommy's fingernails. Here, go watch. Go watch your TV and go play. Go play. Okay. Well, look out. I'm trying to vlog. She has been very clingy and very crabby today. So, no matter anything, makes her cry. And we have days like that. Um. Usually it's usually one or the other, like either she's really crabby or she's really clingy. Today she is both. It's like she just wants to be on my lap. She um, she has a sensitivity towards touch and like feel. Like she can feel like a, just a tiny, just a hair. Like, you know what I mean? I mean, I mean for the most part you can, but if there's a hair like anywhere, like I don't know, it's just weird. <laughs> um. But, like, she just loves to just, she just touches me, like, rubs my arms. Um, she rubs on my stomach underneath my shirt because it's from, I think it's, I think it's from when she was breastfed, you know, and my shirt would be up and she would be against my skin. And so now that she don't breastfeed, it's more like she just wants to rub my, my tummy and my arms and just, you know, it's like a, skin to skin type thing um, and she does that a lot when she's tired she will say let's put our tummies together so I have to lift up my shirt and she lifts up her shirt and we put our tummies together so um, anyway she's done that like quite a few times today and then when she was just in here just now she was wanting to rub up on me and don't get me wrong don't get me wrong because you know I you know I give her lots of attention we do lots of snuggling we just snuggled upstairs in the chair for a long time and until she started like <sighs> wriggling this way and then she'd wriggle this way and then she'd wriggle this way and I'm like okay you have to stop because it's annoying that she was gonna come back so I'm going to try to get a few orders done right now well it's 334 and then let me close the door a little bit so you don't have Peppa Pig and then I'm going to make lasagna for Papa and Uncle Brian. And they have to lay down fertilizer. Um, so I told them I'd do it closer to like 7.30ish because they might not be done. Um, and I'm like so tired, y'all. I'm like, I could just crawl up somewhere and take a little nap. <laughs> Are you tired? You are. Are you sleepy? No. Mm -hmm. Mommy needs to get some work done. Oh, you know who's going to come to eat dinner? Mm -hmm. Who? Papa O'Brien? Yeah. I'm, I'm working on getting toast, concussions, play-doh without. 
Here, you want to what? I want to watch Play-Dohs on the TV. You want to watch Play-Doh on the TV? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, you want to lay down in the bed and watch Play-Doh on the TV? Uh-huh. Okay. You want to lay down with me? I would love to lay down with you, but Mommy's got to get at least a little bit of work done. Daddy went to Papa's? Well, he's right there in the orchard. They're putting down fertilizer. Yeah. yeah. So this is our current situation. Everybody's down here. Baby goats are playing. <laughs> Scaring ducks. Just tripped that duck. So crazy. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. What? Millie, I heard you're trying to ram people. Are you trying to ram people? Come on. Come on. Watch the watch the thing. Come on. Just stand next to me. I won't let her get you. Chase the babies. Okay, Millie will get me. I won't let Millie get you. Yeah, wah, wah, wah. Millie, leave her alone. She's not your baby. She just thinks you're one of her kids. Curiousness. Millie says she'll check it out.
<laughs> she was over here and she tumbled off. Dirty, dirty, dirty. She, tum dirty, dirty. she tumbled off and dirty, landed dirty, straight dirty. on her back. It was dirty, funny. Dirty, dirty. Millie wants your attention. Dirty, dirty, dirty. She's okay. like, hello, handsome. Hello, dirty, dirty, dirty. Drink the boobies. Okay, go take his jam. Her jam is off. I thought she was going to hit her. I'm going to get her. I'm going to get her. I'm going to get her too. I'm going to get Millie. Can I touch you? <laughs> A bug. So I got two broody hens. They're the same ones that were broody in the fall. That's how you can tell they're broody. They scream at you. Let's see what we got. Ew, they're dirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, about eighteen ish. I'm sorry. Isn't that's weird, squirt. Where do you what ladies go? Look at them fluffy butts. Can squirt start saying in the duck pen with Raven? Squirt. Is that where you want to be? Squirt, is that where you want to be? You want to be in the duck pen? He can go in the pasture by day. Look at their eyes, Mom. They're cutting them at me, aren't they? Ha, <laughs> 
Jessica, your nails are so beautiful. I did it to match the hair color. Yeah? I think it's very fitting. Bye. Dang, heavy. Okay, Jern, come on. a video um, I actually have like three edited and uploaded I just have to do the thumbnails and stuff I just haven't had time it's like everybody wants their order like yesterday and rush order and this and for a while it was super duper duper slow so I was excited so but um, we're going to Myrtle Beach next weekend. Not this weekend. This weekend is Easter. Next weekend we're going to go with Danny. And so uh, 
because it was so slow, I was like, I'm not even going to worry about bumping up my turnaround time to three weeks. So whenever for, okay, so my turnaround time is usually two weeks. Um, and it, it's always that way. It just, it helps. Um, it's like, you know, it's like, a what am I like a like a conveyor belt like you know you're always you're making some and you always got some coming up so it's like um anyway so it's always at two weeks and I've got this question before on what do I do like when I want to take vacation so I turn up my turnaround time for the days that I want off so let's say in two weeks from now I want to go on like a four-day vacation what I do is instead of putting my turnaround time for two weeks I would put my turnaround time for three weeks for those four maybe even five you know days so three weeks from this date purchased you know because I'll be gone two weeks from that day purchased you know what I mean? If I'm making any sense to anybody. So I just turn up my turnaround time to three weeks in that for the amount of days. So if I'm going to be gone for four days or five days for those four or five next following days, I will leave it at three weeks. And then after I'm like, sometimes I will, sometimes I'll just leave it at three, three weeks just for a few more extra days or after those four or five days is up then I'll turn it back to two weeks because two weeks from those days I will already be back from vacation and then because I'm gonna have to do that in May but we're gonna be gone for 10 days so 10 days prior or the I'll have to figure out when I'll have to do it to make it so it won't like two weeks you know. <sighs> let me just let me let me do it on the calendar let me do it on the calendar it's easier when you have a calendar in front of you. 21st through the 31st, my turnaround time will be three weeks. So that way it will cover the time when I'm gone. You have to have a calendar when you're doing it, obviously, because you might mess it up <laughs> like I just did. Um, but that way it will cover the time that you're gone, your turnaround time. You won't have any orders due out while you're gone. Um, I make sure I post it everywhere that, you know, turnaround time is three weeks, you know, all of that stuff. Um, I take down any rush order options I have so no one can order a rush order because I'm not home and I won't be able to make it. Um, and then leading up to vacation time, I try to get as many orders as I can get out the door. If I could get all of them that are due to ship out, like, you know. If I could get them all off my list in, you know, a clean slate, then that would be great. But usually I can't. And um, I think the last time we actually went, because it was two weeks, two weeks ago, two years ago, um, I've actually, I think I only left one on my list that was due to ship out. And so when I came home, I had, a, you know, a good many. So, um, but I need to get this machine fixed. It is still broken. This one is fixed. It's working. This one is broken. Um, this one had a Z-axis error, and we got that straightened out. This one had a Z-axis error, got that straightened out, and then now it's the hook timing is off. So I haven't I haven't even tried it since like it was working, like we got it working, and then it broke. So I'm still trying to get in contact with somebody to come fix my machine. There is a thing that shows you all the Melco technicians and well the Melco technician that came last time is not on that list we did call his phone number we did leave a message he hasn't responded um, so I'm assuming maybe he's not doing it anymore but he could just tell us he's not doing it anymore I'm complaining about Melco technicians Melco technicians how no one will call us back or I don't know what to do. I need to get it going. I need to get it going because, like, I need to get these orders out the door. And we're going to be going to Michigan in May. And I can't be. I don't, I don't know why. I don't, I don't. I don't either. 
Yeah, because I need it. Anyway, I am going to continue working. And then, um, yeah. I have to, I had to go somewhere tomorrow. Do you guys remember where I had to go? This is like early turned up, like right. It, we were out, when she was outside planning, I turned it up so you guys can see. Um, I'm supposed to go somewhere tomorrow, but I don't really remember. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't really remember where, because I was like, oh, we'll just go there tomorrow. It wasn't Joanne. It wasn't Hobby Lobby. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Say, thanks for watching. Okay, I can. See you tomorrow. <laughs> gotta say it. Say, thanks for watching. Thanks. <laughs> You gotta say it. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for thank you watching. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Give this a thumbs up. Bye guys. Bye guys. And thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye guys. Go. Cool. <laughs>